Here, we've illustrated a general CNN architecture. On the highest level, we can think of a CNN as just accepting some input, which gets passed to convolutional layers. And these convolutional layers are what make up the bulk of the hidden layers in the network. Now, typically, we will have our convolutional layers followed by the ReLU activation function or a variation of the ReLU activation function. So each one of these blocks, we can think of as a convolutional layer followed by the ReLU activation function. So we have three of these hidden convolutional layers here. Now, also, we sometimes follow our convolutional layers by what's called a pooling layer and a batch norm layer. For now, we're not going to worry about these two items. They're going to be covered in detail in a future lesson, but you can just keep in mind that typically this is what a convolutional block consists of. So the convolutional layer potentially followed by pooling and batch norm operations, which then is finally followed by the ReLU activation function. So after our convolutional layers, oftentimes we see at the end of the layer, we will have fully connected layers appended. And we can use convolutional neural networks in the same way that we use fully connected networks for classification tasks and much more. 